Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into it, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, we have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Four of Cups, Devil, Six of Cups. So it looks like um, somebody's very emotional over you. Someone that the relationship between you and someone else had a lot of promise. You could have even had a family with this person. If you don't have a family with them, then they wanted one with you. Like it seems, it seemed as if when the relationship was going, you guys were in the relationship. It had so much promise that like the stage was set for anything to happen between the two of you. You could have gotten married. You could have moved in together. You could have just, you know, run off into the sunset and just been happy. But, you know, we are human beings. Uh, we're going to do what we want to do. Um, for whatever reason that didn't manifest, somebody here wants to kind of call a truce with you because there is, um, an energy of not being together, not talking, bad blood. And if somebody did something that they weren't supposed to do, say they said something, it just seems as if one party, I don't know where you fit in Aquarius, somebody's over it, you know? Could be a Cancerian energy, uh, Pisces, uh, Scorpio. We got all of the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and then Capricorn. Um, it just seems as if someone here is over it. They don't want to deal. They're withdrawn, recluse, no feelings at all. It could have been that a cancer maybe rejected you at a time where you were offering your cup or vice versa. Um, and now it seems as if somebody is reminiscent over the relationship, over you, going over and over their mind and their heart space, the how the relationship was perfect. It was a perfect soul tie, soulmate union. Somebody understands that they just need to say, I'm sorry, I need to say, I love you. Uh, the small things, the simple things. Somebody needs to connect backwards with the Six of Cups or somebody's trying to connect backwards. They're trying to go backwards. So, you know, someone from, you know, could be trying to come back to you or you go back to someone. Somebody also, this needs to be a decluttering of your mind, of your heart space, of your energy, of your emotions. You have a lot of pent up emotions. Either you, Aquarius, or the other person. Somebody is really uh, romanticizing the relationship, the past, not looking at the bad, not looking at maybe how they made uh, a wrong choice, a wrong turn here. They turned into, I don't want to say that. Okay. Um. So in terms of making the wrong choice, the wrong turn, somebody was tempted, tempted away from the soulmate, perfect union here in the six of cups and they chose the devil they chose something that they were going to have to unravel themselves out of that it was going to be bind binding toxic um turbulent um too much to handle overbearing overwhelming um and now they may be looking for rescue this could be you aquarius or another person somebody wanted you know more than one thing or they or more than one person they wanted to live maybe a dualistic lifestyle, act single, be in a relationship with you. Now it seems as if somebody is definitely hoping, wishing, praying for your return. You, the Nine of Cups says make a wish. It could possibly will come true. Some of you getting a wish fulfillment in terms of court documents, paperwork. If you have any court dealings, it looks like you're going to get what you want. But that's another story. Um... But it looks like somebody's wishing, hoping, praying for you, you to return, you to give them some energy. Somebody could even just be really thinking about, you know, how great the relationship is or was. And someone could be thinking about the sex, the good times, the food, the drink, the, the travel, just the 
whole maybe luxurious nature of the relationship, how they felt when they were with you, how people looked at them when they were with you, how, you know, I don't know. But somebody, again, is over it. Done. Somebody met somebody and and it was like they gave them a chance because the both of you kind of like were bonding over trauma. Now, this also could be coming up for COVID. So if this was a COVID relationship, like when COVID first started around the world in 2020, um, this could come up too. Like everybody was going through that together, you know, and it brought some people closer together. So it could have been a relationship that's, that got started around COVID, a COVID relationship. Somebody could be older than you or younger than you or you younger than them and them older than you. Somebody is definitely in deep thought about a feminine energy. It could be a masculine energy in deep thought about the relationship. Somebody has accepted the fact that there is no activity between the two of you, but they don't feel like that's the end. They just feel like, okay, there's no activity between us right now. But if I just hope, I wish, I pray, I think about it constantly, this person will resurface. For some of you, Aquarius, you're in need of new and real friends because um, somebody is, there's some false energy around you. Um, you need new energy. Uh, where, you, If you are in a friend group, it seems as if they kind of want to stifle the relationship or stifle you. If, if you have had good news, great news come to you, they're not happy for you. Um, they want to see you in a place of maybe where they met you or where they always knew that you were. Wow. As I say that, we got a hateful mother sucker, a hateful person here. So somebody is very hateful. They don't want to see you flourish. They don't want to see you win, but it looks like you're winning anyway. Um, I don't think it's the love partner. Wow. As I cut the deck, jealous of you. Look at all those yous. This is this person just thinks about you, 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 you constantly. They don't like the fact that you're getting what you deserve. Um, what it is you, um, yeah, what it is you deserve, what it is you want from the universe. For some of you, this COVID relationships and this trauma bonding, um, somebody was looking at the relationship as temporary. Like, okay, when this is over or when I get this, I'll be out. Like somebody was already planning their escape. Um, it could have been that you guys only hooked up on the weekend. Um, somebody just didn't take the relationship serious. And now that you're gone, Aquarius, they're seeing the impact, you know, of your of the loss of you. Um, somebody just acts like an effing prostitute or they actually have sex with prostitutes. They could come off as very book smart, but they make some very rash. Uh, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Very rash and um, risky behavior because we have that devil card. There could have been like a physical fight. Now, this sometimes come out comes out when it's verbal too. Could have been like a verbal fight between you and someone else. The toxicity of the relationship was because that you guys, you do the breakup and makeup thing. You break up and make up and then you have, you know, an all night sex session. And then, you know, it's just toxic. So somebody is kind of over it. It could be you, Aquarius. It could be um, the other person. Somebody just doesn't want to deal any longer. Um, let's get one more card for the Aquarius Collective. But it looks like you're winning. You're getting everything that you deserve, that you've worked hard for. Um, there are people, maybe friends, people who call themselves friends, jealous of you. They think about you constantly. Um, wow, yeah. So the Mean Girl Club came out. So I don't know if it was a group of people or if there's a group of people, a cluster of people who try to get together and maybe kind of figure out what it is you're doing, bad mouth you, gang stalk you, all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, I don't feel it penetrating your energy though, Aquarius. I really feel like these people are spinning their wheels. Um, they're spinning out. They don't know what to do. 
because you keep winning you keep flourishing um yeah aquarius you could be over this you closed off to love okay just because something didn't work out and also you could be focused on something else you know something better for you some of you could be going to therapy learning how to be better um some of you are the super independent lady okay some of you are practicing abstinence okay um and then some of you could just be in a marriage where there is no sex um, some of you have a friend that is in love with you whether you know it or not and that's a really dark card you can see that now in love with my friend um, so you have a friend that's in love with you or you're in love with your friend and they're just an energy of somebody can't get over you because, and they're losing, you know, they're losing the relationship. A lot of times this card comes out for, you know, a relationship because sometimes we can look at a relationship as a house because the relationship provides security, stability, just like a house does. So somebody feels like they're losing the relationship. And again, wow, you have these jealous friends, okay, or a jealous friend, uh, be very um, scrutinized people, you know, um, listen very closely because people will tell you who they are and always remember people defend what they really are. Okay. Um, Aquarius, it looks like you're just on a winning streak and people are really upset about it. You have an ex or somebody from your past who just can't get over you. Um, I think because you showed up in the relationship genuine and they did not, uh, it's like a missed opportunity. It was like, I could have done this better, but now it is gone. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. If it, res if it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by kick by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Um, you can buy out a coffee li link. You can buy me a coffee by clicking the buy L a coffee link. <laughs> Um, and if you can't do any of that, you can just comment down below how this resonates for you and do know you can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.